I'm Anil Kumar and here is a video which will help many of my students to understand how to arrange fractions with unequal denominators on a number line. So the question here is place the following fractions approximately on a number line, right? So I've used the word approximately since we'll just make a rough sketch. The numbers are fractions, I should say, 7 over 3, 1, 2 over 3 and 5 over 6. As you can see, we have combination of improper fraction, mixed numbers and proper fraction. Correct? Now it becomes difficult since uh, the denominators are also not same. How to do such a question? That is what we will see now. First step is to write each number as improper fraction. So at least we have one format to deal with, right? So first step will be write as improper fraction. Now improper fraction means that the numerator could be higher than denominator, right? That makes it improper. Now 1, 2 over 3 is the one which needs to be changed. 7 over 3 is okay. So we'll write 7 over 3 as such. 1, 2 over 3, 1 times 3 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, so we get 5 over 3. And the last one is 5 over 6. So now we can write these over improper fractions, right? So that is the first step. I hope you know how to do it. Multiply 1 by 3, add 2. So I did 1, I mean, let me show here. So 1, 2 over 3, I mean, it could be written as 1 times 3 plus 2 divided by 3 which is 5 over 3 so that is how I got 5 over 3 okay the next step is we need to find lowest common denominator right so find lowest common denominator now how to find lowest common denominator we have discussed two different methods in our videos one of them is you can actually write down the multiples so what are the multiples of 3 Multiples of 3 are like 3, 6, 9. Multiples of 9 are 6, 12 and so on. Out of which, which are common multiples? 6, right? So 6 becomes our lowest common denominator, right? So we find that the lowest common denominator is 6. How do you write them with lowest common denominator? That is the next step, right? So now, first is find lowest common denominator, then is write equivalent fractions. We call them equivalent fractions with lowest common denominator. Right? In our case it is 6. That means we have to make all of them 6 denominator. So you got to multiply this by 2. Both numerator and denominator. This also by 2. Here we already have 6. We don't have to do anything. 2 times 7 is 14, so we get 14 over 6. 2 times 5 is 10, 10 over 6, and then we have 5 over 6. So we have now three fractions which have same or equal denominators. Now it becomes simpler to place them on a number line, right? So now what we will do is we'll uh, make a scale on a number line. So scale, I should say, scale your number line. What it really means is, I'll just draw one number line. So let us say, here it is. So that is my number line. I know my numbers are positive. So we'll begin with zero. Okay. Now, approximate really means that I will not use any scale, but I'll make my own, right? Scale your number line. When I say scale your number line, what should my minimum scale? Now, minimum should be 1 over 6. 1 over 6 should be minimum, right? Since every fraction is 1 sixth, 2 sixth, 3 sixth, 5 sixth is the lowest. So for me, 1 sixth is the lowest, right? So let's go by 1 sixth. So we have 1 6, 2 6, 3 6, 4, 5, 6 sixth. 6 sixth is as good as 1. Do you see that? So that is how you scale your number line. Now, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, right? So that becomes 12 over 6 or 2. Well, these are less than 2, so we'll stop here. Now it is simple to place these fractions. 
Okay, this one is, uh, how come we got, oh, this is 7 over 3, so this is more than 2. So let's go forward and further. So 12 we got 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we get 18 over 6 over just 3. Okay. Now let's place these fractions on the number line. First one is 14 over 6. So 12, 13, 14. So that is 14 over 6 for us. 14 over 6. You get the idea, right? So first one has been placed. 14 over 6. 10 over 6. 6 is one whole, right? Or then 10 means 7, 8, 9, 10. So that is 10 over 6 for us. 10 over 6. The last one is 5 over 6, which is right there, right? So 5 over 6. That is how you place your fractions. And that is your last and final step, right? So place fractions. on the number line right on the number line I hope the steps are absolutely clear go through these steps once again and then take up some fractions and then do it let the question for you be you can do these fractions 5 over 3 1 2 over 3 and let us say 5 over 6 right so these are kind of similar so you arrange them on a number line, right? Once you arrange them on a number line, you can also arrange them in ascending or descending order, correct? So you can try those things also on your own. I hope this helps. Thank you and all the best.